Bob was much better at hide and seek. It's not every day that students like third grader Oceana Potolsky get to hear an author read his own book. It's really cool because most schools don't get to do that and I think our school is really lucky. Author Thomas Barnett visited Northwoods Community Elementary School to read his book, I Brought a Hodag Home, to students in the library. It's kind of an adventure with a little bit of a message behind it. Uh, what happens when you bring a wild animal into a, a human home? and uh, maybe that sometimes a wild animal actually does belong out in the wild. This book is a sequel to his first book, I Brought a Hodag to School. The idea for the books came after the school asked him to paint a mural of a hodag in the hallway. And just as I was finishing this, a fifth grader named Kayla that went here, um, she looked Bob up and down and said, I'm going to name him Bob, which is, gave him his name. And the minute he had a name, I kind of just took a step back and I'm like, this, this is a story, this is a character. After they finished the book, students colored comic strips of the characters in the story, which are based on Barnett's own children. This is son Tony comes to our school. I think it's, and his uh, little girl Sophie comes to our school too. And um, they're both incorporated into the book. Barnett will go to three other schools on his book tour. Fans of Bob the Hodag will be happy to hear that another book might soon be in the works. Uh, the kids love it so much that, yeah, I, I told them as long as they keep loving the story and they keep wanting more Bob, I will keep writing more Bob. We're covering the news in Harshaw. Rose McBride, Newswatch 12.